HW. Hey, I'm the Suze. Suze, we're going to Tweed City. I can't wait. Population, tone. Nice. Uh, elevation, <laughs> I don't know. Okay, uh, so we're <laughs> look, we've lined up in a performance, uh -huh. uh, five tweeds that we've done. We've kind of normalized the gain, normalized some of the brightness, normalized the volume. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's available for free download, so we're going to check it out, but people can check it out at home. And you can download it uh, in a link down there, or maybe up there. And uh, hey, hit like and subscribe. It really helps the YouTube algorithm, and it helps the channel a lot. Let's get into it. This is Tweed City. All right, to run through it, we've got the 56 Tweed Band, which... 57... I'm sorry, 57 Tweed Band. Bands, okay. Okay, it's a, it's a Tweed Band Master, 5E7 circuit. We've got the uh, Tweed Deluxe. This is a 5E3 circuit. Mm -hmm. We've got the um, Tweed Loman. This is uh, the, the the Deluxe, the Loman. So two, three, and four are not vintage. One mm -hmm. and five will be vintage, actual vintage amps. Tweed Loman is the famed 59 Baseman 5F6 circuit. Mm -hmm. This uh, Tweed Twin is a, um, uh, it's a Tweed Twin Low. So it's a low power Tweed Twin. Uh, I can't remember that designation off the top of my head. Uh, the next one is the new 56 Tweed Super. That's a 5E4 mm -hmm. circuit. Vintage. All different, vintage, yeah. all different. We've got different speakers going on, different, all mm -hmm. sorts of stuff, because different stuff came with the amps. 10s, 12s, 210s, 310s, 212s, 410s, 112s. All over the map. It's all over the map. Tweed City is a very diverse city. It's a really diverse city. Mm -hmm. There's lots of neighborhoods. Mm -hmm. There's lots of things to do. You can kind of just drive around and see what you like. Yeah. You got to decide what neighborhood's for you. I like that. Welcome to Tweed City. Here we go. Here's the 57 Tweed Band. <laughs> Here is the Tweed Deluxe. Check it out. Tweed Loman. Here's the Tweed Twin Low. All right, and here's the brand new 56 Tweed Super. different flavors totally yeah. so the obvious outlier to me is the tweed deluxe what number is that that's number two okay. it's the most sort of mid-range here play that again This is an amp I really want to get my hands on a real, uh, a real original one with the okay. original speaker and everything, mm -hmm. because um, this amp had a later Jensen of a similar type. Okay. But um, what size speaker? Twelve, twelve. So Tweed, so, so these are Tweed Deluxes are low powered and they and they have one single twelve. Mm -hmm. They can be a little more boxy, uh, and but I think the speaker that we used added to the boxiness yeah. rather than sort of taking away from it. Sure. So it's a super focused, super, mm -hmm. it's like, it's a sound for sure. Mm -hmm. um, and it's cool. And I think like people can go back and watch that demo. The demo sounds great. Um, it, you, your ear takes a little bit to adjust. These other ones I feel like have a little more similarity in terms of the low end. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. Even amongst different speakers and different size speakers. Mm -hmm. So I've just taken these ones sort of out of the pack out of each pack, because I, I think they're sort of similar. Okay. Um, 
already I'm going like, oh, I think a different channel could fit maybe this bit because it's <laughs> right. brights, normals, instruments, microphones. But yeah. um, who knows? Here's what I'm. Here's what I notice. Fifty-seven tweed band seems the most bitey and a little angry. Mm -hmm. Play that real quick. <laughs> It's like unapologetic. Uh, three 10 inch uh, Jensen P10s in there mm -hmm. and a small output transformer make it just really sort of snarly and rawry. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Now compare that to an amp um, that has two Jensen's. These speakers were a little warmer. And they're a little, uh, I think, a li yeah, a little warmer because they were recombed later mm -hmm. in, in the speaker's life. But a similar circuit, but a bit different. It's got lower output preamp tubes. That's kind of more correct, actually, for what, what they would have put in okay. originally. Uh -huh. Check that out. Yeah. Bigger. It's, yeah. You know, by comparison, that 57 is kind of absent on the bottom, but yeah, like, yeah, in like yeah. a raw. Yeah. I guess it might be the tens or you know. Uh, um, it, it's it's pro. Yeah. It. I I don't know exactly. Bandmasters have the reputation of being like kind of like a basement, but like a little more choked sounding. Yeah. Because of the smaller transformer. Okay. And so that makes them a little less big feeling, mm -hmm. but they get to similar levels of gain. Right. You know? So check it out. Here's a basement, also four tens, four ten Jensen's. These were modern ones. But this is the five uh, uh, this is the five F six circuit, sort of the famous and this amp is called a basement for a reason. Okay. It has a you'll hear. <laughs> that to the 57 tweed. Totally. Yeah. It reminds me kind of going to like a pedal that would like lop off low end. Yeah. Just kind of like mm -hmm. punch that. Right. And it's aggressive, man. Like I think in a mix, like with a drummer and like a mm -hmm. bass player, that might be a good choice. You know? Yeah, totally, totally. Mm -hmm. That's the uh, that's a, that's an early rock amp. It was used yeah. on some records that were very influential for later acts. Okay. It's the sound of that. The bandmaster is uh, uh, applauded as being the sound of uh, of Montrose, which is a, a band that people say that first record sort of paved the way for what for Van Halen. Oh, okay. You know, like yeah. kind of an early thing like that. Mm -hmm. Check out now the Tweed Twin Low. Okay. So the so there's a high power and a low power Tweed Twin. And um, uh, basically they just changed the power section because I think at the time they realized, who needs an amp this loud? And <laughs> so their attempt was, well, let's just, let's just take the, the super power section and put it in the Tweed Twin. So we'll have like a gain down version. So I believe the low is 40 watts and okay. the high is probably 80, 85 is what the black faces were. Okay. Uh, the tweed's probably similar. Um, app, app, wattage is pretty much based on the tubes, but then the output transformer has to put out enough. Sure. So like in the example of the Bandmaster, it's two 6L6s. It hardly puts out any more wattage than a Tweed Deluxe of the same era oh. because of the transform How it all goes difference. Yeah, check this one out, and it you'll feel it's a it's a different thing. Was this the Victoria uh, Tweed? Yes. Okay. Yeah, this was the Victoria one. Okay. Two twelves. Mm -hmm. Good 
sounding tweet. There's fullness in the low end, but listen to it next to the low man. different little characteristics yeah. and um it's funny the 57 to me when you go back it's, it's so musical mm -hmm. I don't, to me it's very mm -hmm. musical but what's but it doesn't have that low end but then the the low end difference in the tweed loman and the tweed twin are like so different yeah you know it's it i would describe them as like what's the tweed twin sound like uh is it like the bandmaster yeah but it's got more low end then it'd right. be like, what's the Loman like? Is it like the Bandmaster? Yeah, but it's got more low end. You, yeah. know, you know what I'm saying? It's an interesting case in like, that sounds like a tweet, like that statement. Mm -hmm. It's like once you really get in there in, in AB like that, it's you're getting to like a classification of sound, yeah, yeah. but nothing super specific. Because sure. those sound like five different, sure. completely different tones. Yeah, yeah. But they don't sound like a, you know, a Vox or a Marshall, like it's right. like a tweet. Right, you know? yeah, absolutely. Check out, uh, check out the Tweed Super. The low end here is even different also. That's yeah, bigger. I mean, mm -hmm. it's not boomy per se, but uh, you know, when, especially by comparison, yeah, it's there, and then it's kind of. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, not as, as much low end as the Loman and the Tweed Twin, but still mm -hmm. sort of uh, an amount. I think there's some more warmth in the speakers, like I said. Those, yeah. those, they had been reconed at one time. They're the original speakers, but uh, replaced cones. And um, they sound to me, um, I mean, I don't know, speakers live different lives too. So they sound to yeah, me true. warmer than the ones in the 57, which seems sort of extra bitey mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. um not in the way that like the modern ones are the modern ones are really not not amazing sometimes mm -hmm. um like the mo i don't you just have to break speakers in and yeah. some speakers when you get them and they're not broken in they're really really especially for like a close profiling process like this where we're like you know miking and like hearing exactly what yeah. they sound like yeah you know? yeah i i just had an amp though i could feel like you could really hear it just i was just like oh my gosh we, mm. need, we need a different speaker for that speakers are so important man so so important equation yeah what what's your favorite about? tweed what tweed are you man i mean right now i'm kind of liking four mm -hmm. the victoria it just has like a like a woody, yeah. like stringy character, especially on the low strings. Yeah, the Tweed Twin. Yeah. What's funny is of all the amps we're comparing, because we haven't been hitting the Tweed Deluxe because it's so different. Mm -hmm. But um, you pick the one with the twelve-inch speakers, hmm. which I wonder then if, if that's part. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, mate, you just like. I think we should do them like the on character. the neck too. Like that was all the bridge. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. Yeah, go go to the neck and let's run through these. Yeah. Here's your favorite one, Tweed Twin. on the bottom. Yeah. Check it out next to the Loman. More compressed, right? Yeah, and that especially on the upper strings it gets a little like build up y, mm -hmm, you know, where mm -hmm. I can't really hear the clarity of yeah. every note, but yeah. yeah. And again, that can be so many factors. Ten inch speaker, but but it yeah. does feel like there's more gain mm -hmm. uh, in that in that amp. Yeah. Here's the '57 Tweed Band. It's. 
It's funny, there's both not a lot of bass, but then a very strong bass when you hit the low string. You know yeah, what I mean? Uh -huh. All right, next to the 57 Tweet Super. Between one and five, or any all of them? them. Any of them. I'm kind of still on the four. You still like the tweet, yeah. Cut, huh? There's just something about it with, uh, it's it's a little bit balanced. Like nothing sticks out to me as like the bass, or I gotta talk about the high end, or mm -hmm. I gotta, it just sounds mm -hmm. like a strat into like a tweet. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's a little yeah. Bit simple, you know? Yeah, you know, but, it it's funny. I've really been. Uh, I love the low and the um, and the twin. Mm -hmm. Uh, with Goldie, those have been my two like favorite yeah. go-tos. Mm -hmm. uh, just kind of with a strat, yeah. you know what I mean? Um, all, for the single coil stuff. But um, mm -hmm. man, I don't know. You know, there's a quality about the '57 and the '56 that isn't in the other ones. The two vintage ones. Yeah, yeah. there's like a, and I, I think mm -hmm. it might be just the old speaker thing or something. But there's a, there's a similar quality. I don't know. Play, play that again. Like the four position, or yeah. Try that. Tweed twin low because I think there's the most headroom. Is that the four? The four, yeah, yeah number okay. four. I might have something to do with it too. Yeah, there's the most air. Like I like I feel. Mm. Whereas I feel like the the number three, the Loman, is kind of the. You can hear that amp getting, you know, full of mm -hmm. like stuff. Just like it can and 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 you, it sounds the most focused of the four we've been jumping between. Mm -hmm. But um, but not overly focused. You had that too on that same thing. I'm just yeah. curious. Yeah. yeah. That mid range is like it's always there. Very honky. Just and... very. Yeah. Boxy and. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. I um. What's your like? What's your top two? You know what? I think I need to be mayor of Tweed City because I can't choose just one. <laughs> right. I Very need a, yeah. I need an apartment downtown right. and then a uh, and then a family home. Uh -huh. You know, in the burbs. Yeah. And uh, you know, maybe I'll uh, go visit some parks and some mm -hmm. other neighborhoods. It just dawned on me too, like with the Kemper, all the profiles available. It's like, why would I go for a Tweed profile? I might want something really vintagey and raw sounding. Mm -hmm, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? So I might go straight for the '57 band. Because maybe a part I'm writing or something I'm recording yeah. needs, like, I want that sweet sound to be, like, disgusting, you know, mm -hmm, like, or mm -hmm. fat or whatever it is. Yeah. So I might not go for something that sounds more normal. Yeah. I might want to go extreme tweed. Right, right, right. Right, tweed, 10-inch, out on the coast, yeah. speaker. Yeah, overtly, yeah. like, that's yeah. different. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I hear you. Yeah. Whereas, um, I mean, it's funny, all these amps you can clean up and you can make and totally. they'll give a different thing, but... Mm -hmm. But when they get going, they really show their character. So you're saying your favorite's the Tweed Twin Low. I do like that four, yeah. Um, I, I would say the next one over would probably be one of the vintage ones. The yeah. 57 or 56. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to mm -hmm. go with... I still think my favorite is the Tweed Band. And, 57. Uh, yeah. And, you know... Maybe I'm romantic about it. Mm -hmm. I have the real thing right here next to me. You walk in the store, you crank you it up. You see it, it's there. <laughs> it is, there's water damage. Someone uh, clearly stored it on cement. Yeah. You can see the damage going up. You can see it's just, 
Oh man, it's it's just nice. Mm -hmm. It's just really good. But they're all good tones. Like I said, the Tweed Twin Low and the Loman have been sort of my go-to just sitting here playing yeah. with strats. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because uh, they have a nice low end. Mm -hmm. that's, re that's really sort of pleasant. Well, if you want this pack, you can download it for, 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 for free. For free. free. Free admission in a Tweed City this mm -hmm. week only. Uh, no, it's available uh, <laughs> indefinitely. It stays there. Uh, yeah, Tweed City doesn't close. <laughs> Cities don't close, you know? Yeah, that's true. Um, <laughs> Cities don't close. Would you say they have the keys to the city? I would to, say. To Tweet City? <laughs> yes, I would say. This download is the key to Tweet City. That's awesome. Uh, go check it out. Try it out with your own guitars. Check it out uh, for yourself. And uh, let us know in the comments which was your favorite Tweed. I'd love to hear that. Tweed Twin Low. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling the Bandmaster just because it's unapologetic. Mm. And I paid a lot of money for that amp. You're romantic about it. I'm very romantic about it. <laughs> Um, Suze, why don't you play us out? Yeah. I've been HW. I've been the Suze. And uh, thanks so much for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe. It really helps the channel. See you next time. HW and Suze out. <laughs>